cup of tea. Hi, I'm Roger from the Infinity and Beyond, presented by VinylMationKingdom.com. In this quick review, I review the new Wreck-It Ralph figure. One of the first things I noticed about the Wreck-It Ralph figure was its sheer size and weight. It's so much bigger and heavier than any of the other figures, which is very impressive. I love the Wreck-It Ralph movie, so for me this is a must-have, and in my eyes, this is easily the best figure released to date. I love the little details, such as the little um, donut stand that it stands on, and also the huge fists. The detail on the figure is truly amazing, and a must for any Wreck-It Ralph fan. In the actual game, Wreck-It Ralph uses a pound attack which sees him pound the floor while sprinting forward, and he also has the use of a cherry bomb which can be thrown as a weapon, which also can be unlocked. It's worth mentioning that this figure is for the toy box only and doesn't have a playset. So throwing on the two Wreck-It Ralph terrains in Skydome would give the whole toy box a much more Wreck-It Ralph feel. But it's a shame that we haven't got a proper Wreck-It Ralph inspired toy box, or more importantly a playset. Ralph does have his own adventures which is pretty neat it's a side strolling game, just like the classic 80s games. They have to smash all the blocks and, and enemies to unlock the collectibles. It's a fun action packed game that there's plenty of the playable value, though it, though it does leave you wanting a lot more. Wreck-It Ralph also has six chests which can be unlocked which include the Wreck-It Ralph costume, the Nice Landers apartment building, a Wreck-It Ralph wrecking truck, Nice Landers terrain, Nice Landers sky dome, and the Wreck-It Ralph cherry bombs. I'd give Wreck-It Ralph five stars. Be sure to check out VinylMationKingdom.com and our Facebook group Infinity and Beyond for more Disney Infinity news.